We have heard a lot about AI and education, jobs, and now how it might be helping people commit crime. Well, tonight, the Polk County Sheriff's Office is launching a new collaboration with a local university to create a unique AI investigative unit. Our Polk County reporter, Rebecca Petit, looks into how it all work. I am thinking of moving to Polk County because of the great men and women he has working on his team. This AI generated video of Elon Musk is exactly the type of misuse of technology the Polk County Sheriff's Office wants to get ahead of. This is fake in a real world and we're frightened to death of the negatives of AI. As artificial intelligence plays an ever-growing role in our society, it offers criminals new tools and opportunities. That's why the Polk County Sheriff's Office is partnering with Florida Polytechnic University to create an AI laboratory to combat the potential abuse of AI for criminal purposes. Imagine criminals who want to steal your name, your image, and your likeness for any number of sinister reasons. Imagine not having the subject matter experts with the tools, education, and training to keep you safe. The Sheriff's Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, or SAIL for short, is the first of its kind law enforcement unit in the nation, according to Sheriff Grady Judd. Among its list of goals, the main one for the new unit is to assist in criminal investigations involving the use of AI. We've already discovered AI-generated child porn where they've taken children's faces from books, from people's social media and superimpose that face on an image to make it look as if it was that child. Florida Poly researchers and students will work with the sheriff's office to provide training, technical support and craft solutions. We're going to have sheriffs and deputies out in the real world seeing fraud cases and all of that and then you pair them with a researcher to try to figure out well how do I counter those particular cases. The goal is to remain proactive in addressing emerging AI threats. I'm Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.